At the very end of this week's Torah portion, Moses, Moshe, comes back down the mountain, down from Mount Sinai. And he's got the second luchos, the second tablets in his hands. Tablets that he's carved himself this time after breaking the first ones in the aftermath of the sin of the golden calf. He's very happy. He secured God's forgiveness of the Jewish people for the sin of the calf. In fact, he's glowing. Rays of light are streaming from his face. Rays of light that unfortunately many years ago were mistranslated as horns of light, leading to that wonderful stereotype that Jews have horns. A stereotype that was unfortunately perpetuated by Michelangelo when he carved his famous statue of Moses. But be that as it may, Moses, Moshe, is radiant. He comes down the mountain, and the Jewish people are scared. They back away. They can't bear to look at him. In fact, he has to put a mask over his face to cover that radiance. Rashi, the greatest of the biblical commentators, tells us here, come and see the power of sin. Before the incident involving the golden calf, the Jews stood at the base of Mount Sinai. They listen to God himself in all his glory begin to teach them the commandments. The bombs bursting in air, the rockets red glare, God himself talking to them. And they didn't tremble, they weren't scared. But after the sin of the golden calf, a mere mortal coming down the mountain, Moses, although he was glowing, he's still a human being, he inspired fear. They had been brought down by their sin. Perhaps most unsettling about Rashi's comment is that the Torah tells us that one of those people who couldn't bear to look at Moshe was Aharon, Aaron, Moshe's brother, the high priest. He didn't sin during the incident of the golden calf. Au contraire, he was trying to convince them not to sin. It was only on threat of death that he fashioned the calf. And even after that, he told them, listen, tomorrow we'll have a feast to God in the hope that in the interim, Moshe would return. So if he didn't sin, why is he scared to look at his brother? We're learning a very deep lesson here. If you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, even if you're not sinning, but you're in an area where bad things are going on, your friends, your community, your neighborhood, wherever it is you might be at that time, you're going to be brought down. It's going to affect you. But conversely, even if you're not doing the right thing, but you're with the right friends, people who are inspirational, and they're constantly doing mitzvahs, writing charity, doing good deeds. It will lift you up. Choose your friends. Choose your situations. Choose your hangouts the right way. You'll be in like Flynn.